Very fitting that Arden's only motivation as a villain is to personally screw with me until the final battle because oh. that's exactly what the game has accomplished. The game even says that out of the Okay, fine, let's do fucking Maxor. <laughs> no, no, I say Arden. <laughs> yeah, because we can't watch Sarah because we haven't finished it. There are spoilers in the video. Spinal Stagnancy 15 is one of the what? <laughs> funny games ever made, and I don't award that distinction lightly. It's um, it's trying its best. Oh, in this game. No, of course, cats. Cats. <laughs> no. Meow. What? Play as John Fantasy, an intrepid princess, <laughs> the BTS crew, as they travel across yeah, Korea in a bid to dodge the draft and re-establish the Joseon dynasty with Jungkook as their... <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to conscript God to kill endangered animals? Entering Super Saiyan mode to kill a sea snake, compress a mountain-sized turtle into a black hole, and break the entire game's leveling system because of lasagna. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Uh, that's debatable. The original director wanted to make the game a musical, but you know, thank God they added the hyper-realistic pizza. It just wouldn't be the same. This game is one of the most baffling design disasters that I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun, okay? If you know any Latin, this game is fucking insulting. <laughs> okay. Whose name is King King Light Heaven, the 113th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> 2,000 years old. Meaning, for him to be there, every single male king must have fucked at 17. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't want to be the actual person, but there is a reason they die young. Yeah. It's here that we're introduced to our buddies, the BTS boys, and all of their- Stop! <laughs> Fire Knowledge is a smart, calculating man who shakes you with lusty knives, and Sword Friendship is a burly, reliable bear who hits people with giant- He's not reliable, he's a fucking bitch near the end. Yeah. It's time to begin the game in earnest. Now, it's surprising me that they actually- Stop with the fucking metal gear music <laughs> every video let's go on a quest to explore a level 20 cave in order to get there you'll have to drive down the street take the path and fight the mandatory level 54 giga snake and get yeah. maybe you shouldn't have gone to that dungeon when you're like level four bro <laughs> yeah. by far the best weapon in your arsenal is the point warp which allows you to travel arbitrary distances at will oh buddy hang on i see a pixel like five miles away oh my god oh my god <laughs> Not to mention, the animation budget is absurd. Every time you hit someone's back, every single time you parry a boss, for every boss, there is a unique animation. You can really feel the animator's sweat as he nears the end of his 13-hour journey. Is it a bad thing? Yeah, yeah, but I liked it. I liked it. Oh my god. Yay, yeah, Iggy, let's go. <laughs> a common theme for Final Fantasy XV is that it's fun when it works, but it doesn't often work. Well, maybe you're playing the buggy version. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Am I the only person that got like no bugs at all when I was yeah, playing? I played PC and fucking PS4 version. Yeah, I think so. So anyways, the Niflheim Empire just takes over the entire planet using an army of Juche Demon Terminators. Their new goal is to kill all of the gods. <laughs> this emotional and life-changing moment affects our protagonist greatly. Everything he's ever known has been destroyed and nothing will ever be the same again. Hey, knock this, you wanna go ride some boys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Director Tetsuya Nomura was, to put it lightly, a fucking bad shit. Again, he tried to make the game a musical because he watched Les Miserables once. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? Oh my god, I not. I have not heard no. about the musical thing. You say you. <laughs> this took 10 years and two engines to make. When you play the main quest, it introduces some. Yeah, well, the engine thing wasn't really their fault. No, it wasn't. You'd think the open world would be some relief from this, but no. No, the car is on rails. They didn't even program driving. What, what does that remind you of? Speaking of things that the developers forgot. Did you really want fucking driving, like actual <laughs> Grand Theft Auto driving in this game? <laughs> you would, uh, <laughs> kill people yeah. and you're not allowed to do that. It's yeah. Final Fantasy, okay? Come on. So I was driving my car and I just so happened to kill my wife by right. crashing into a tree at uh -huh. 90 miles per hour. Sounds good. I need you to go find my mango. You're fucking what? I left them in the truck after killing my wife what? in a car crash. I don't think your problem is mangoes. Can you find my mangoes? All right, we'll just go and find the mangoes. <laughs> wow, look at these bees. A while back, I lost a few apples on the side of the road while driving at night. Okay, let's go do that. 
Oh my fucking god! Yeah, some of the quests were quest The characters actively rant about the deliciousness of cup noodles. That's one quest. Yeah. If you take something already delicious like cup noodles and add in the finest, freshest ingredients. Oh my fucking god. Fuck up, Gladio. Oh my god. Fortunately, this well dressed and not suspicious individual has. Aren't nursery rhymes curious things? What? I came here to clear a headache. Did you say you came here to clear a headache? I think so. We're in the wrong place for that. Yeah. Uh, hello, bitches. I'm with the Empire now, and uh, furthermore, I've stolen your car. Ew! No! No! Is Fuck was that Arden voice? I don't know. I think they ran out of time for this one because the only thing standing between us and him is one cave that we just keep walk through, and maybe romance a snake or two. Oh man, guys, she's no. Yeah. Yeah. The God's help is summoned randomly. Oh man, Noctis, you're fighting like 90 demons down there. You can handle that. Good luck. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I will be the one to save you from these three very threatening giraffes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> you can thank me later. You know, we've gotten pretty used to this game. Always <laughs> summons the, the like the same god too. Yeah. Fucking yeah. yeah, right. I kept getting that stupid DLC god from Final Fantasy XIV. Oh. oh god. After I got her, I got no other god summon. She's the only one I get. That's so sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is until Arden shows up and he And he skips more plot points than we do in our videos. Yeah. <laughs> All that we have to do to stop him is enter the city of Pyongyang and endure his weaponless cock and ball torture dungeon. This man has gone what? from helping us to literally try to get us. Of course doing so to trap Noctis in a pocket dimension for ten years and fight the sun. That way he can kill the gods uh, and the truth. Oh my god, my brain. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. Oh, I I'm not following so anymore. Don't Turns out valuing your own time by not playing the shitty fetch quests gives your experience vastly below what is expected. We aren't even strong enough to fight the big snake. You have to level up! You have to fucking level up! It's a fucking RPG! It's a Final Fantasy game! You have to level up! Don't fight the level 56 snake at the fucking start of the game! You don't do that! Asana doesn't even play RPGs! I know the pain maxer. I went to the level <laughs> fucking 50 dungeon when I was like level 10. <laughs> I died so many times. I fucking learned, man. Yeah. <laughs> All that's left is to strut back to the Arden Gauntlet and let the game play itself. Just take caution when time traveling that you do not get absorbed into the eternally falling hellscape. Now we can break through Arden. Yeah, that never happened. No, that never happened. <laughs> no. We play. You have played over 600 hours, Santa. I have 700 hours. Hours on this game. Hours. No 800 <laughs> counting the PC. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> She's a walking plot device. The game has no autonomous women in it. Very based of you, Japan. As for the ending of the game, well, uh, everything that the developers had I give him that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Noctis, I need your help to retrieve ten metal after I killed my wife. I thought I was done with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've never done with side quests. Essentially, the Joker. I can say with confidence that I am fucking done. It's very fitting that Arden's only motivation as a villain is to personally <laughs> screw with me until the final battle. Because oh. That's exactly what the game has accomplished. The game even says that out of Spite's all that's kept him going. Really, you're gonna go with just spite. Killing Arden is pretty much a formality. Yeah, this is why I say Gladius fucking dumb. Yeah, he's dumb The fact that it doesn't care for even a second how much money it throws away, how over the top the set pieces are, or just how fucked up the pacing is, is kind of endearing. Uh -huh. You're making the pacing seem off deliberately, you fuck. <laughs> Story. The game isn't that badly yeah. paced, yeah. not yeah. in my opinion. You have opinion. to read a little bit as well if you There's wanna... This mm. near the end of the game where it to reflect. It's taking pictures Lore. Of the I didn't think that it meant much until the final cutscene where Noctis shows a picture of the massive turtle to his wife. <laughs> 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 nice. And I burst out laughing for several minutes. Nothing will ever describe to you what the game is about more than that. This product is not worth any of your money. It will never be. But holy shit, maybe it was worth my time. Uh, I don't understand. I would like to thank the Illuminati. For no. no. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs>
You did not mention Ignis <laughs> going blind. You didn't mention like anything about Arden. I'm surprised. Yeah, yeah. like Arden's store is so good. Okay, shut up, Max. <laughs> All the interesting points he just he just glossed over. Glossed over. over. Yeah. Didn't mention, like, I was expecting him to like dunk on Iggy or something. Yeah, yeah same. Especially when Iggy got blind the first time we walked <laughs> yeah. through the dungeon. Oh yeah. Oh my fucking, fucking god. Dungeon. No. We're glad it fucking so like so listen so like this game hours. like it's special okay yeah. it has it's it has an emotional impact you have yeah. 800 hours on yeah that so. says a lot yes I think, I think you're a bit biased yeah but yeah, so no I. yeah and that thing you mentioned with them like being young when they had kids and so, there is a reason why yeah it, yeah but you know, it's the law. Yeah. It's in the game. The kings of losers die young because they're, you know, the stone and the ring sap away their life force. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, it's a sad story. You have to read into that yeah. a little bit. It's kind of old for the kings. Like, you are yeah. supposed to explore in the game, you know, you get, mm -hmm. like, little bios of the animals you find and, like... The characters you meet. Yeah. It's fucking like it's not a game you should speed run, you know? No. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to play it fast. Maybe that's why he thought the pacing was fucked, because he was just, you know, playing the main missions. Yeah, he maybe. didn't do it in the side quest, so he didn't level like up. You're so suppo yeah, like you're supposed yeah, like you're supposed to do the side quest. They make you level up, you know? Yeah. Or and you gonna die with the crabs and the snake and yeah, you don't fight the stupid you. snake right <laughs> at the Start like my god.